comrades, welcome back to Real Politics. I am Admiral Andre, and we start off today with another news flash, because there's another update out. Uh, this one was released yesterday. You see, it's the fourth of March now. This was the third of March, but sadly, I cannot use it. Um, this one is completely, in my experience anyway, incompatible with the save games from the older versions. So. In terms of South Africa now, I had to roll back to the one before this one, which was 1.3.3. So we are not going to see these things now. Just because if you install this patch and then load the save game from before, in my case, it just keeps loading and loading and loading and loading and nothing happens. So... I do think they are quite incompatible. They say here, even though this doesn't make a lot of sense, please note that save games may not be compatible with older versions. Now, uh, it's more like the older save games are not compatible with this version. And you can see some people have been talking about it here somewhere. Uh, yep, this patch broke saves. Go figure. So yes, that's also what I found. So I just followed the instructions here and went back to 1.3.3. Because we've made so much progress as South Africa. I don't want us to just throw it away now and start again. Once this game is done now with South Africa, which will still be a while, we can start again with all of these new patches and things. Probably as a new country. But uh, let's let's you know, go the course and stay the course with South Africa and see what we can do, even though apparently GDP growth is not calculated correctly and we won't have these higher penalties for warmongering. There's a nuclear attack modifier window, which we won't see now and so on. But I think still the game has a lot that we can use and experience. Uh, so let's not give up, you know, let's... Uh, Hold the tiller firm. So, see you in the game. And here we are, back again. It is the year 2044, and this time at least the game loaded, so I just reverted back to 1.3.3, which is the one that we were playing in the last video. So, in terms of that, nothing has changed, but if perhaps you have the newer version, and you don't see the changes in this video, then just be aware that's why uh, that is the case. So last time Botswana joined our glorious union here. I don't know if it is a union or if it's glorious, but I think it is. So we've got some heavy war losses. Now again, I don't know exactly what does this now mean. Damages to the demographics and infrastructure. Well, to the, to the you know, the casualties, I suppose, caused by dying units and events. Yes. Increases unhappiness may allow for nuclear attack. I don't know what that means. War losses do not diminish during the wartime. Okay, so how do we reduce this? It seems like it will go down over time anyway, but maybe there is a way that we can speed it up. I think there is actually a post-war rebuild. Yes, let's see. What does this entail? Uh, very uh, to a 39 maintenance. It's not too bad. Special fund organized to quickly deal with war damage, and this will decrease it by another 3%. So I think for now, let's activate this. Uh, it shouldn't be long to take the 50 away, so at least let's speed it up. Then the next thing, let's have a look at our tasks first. So we have to reach an HDI of 104, which again doesn't make sense to me. If you go look at the real life HDI, as I said before, it goes from 0 to 1. And the closer to 1 you are, the better your uh, human development. But it doesn't reach 1. That would be like perfect paradise. And certainly there's no going higher than that. That's just how the index works. But it doesn't matter. This is something that will just come from events and things, so I don't want to spend too much time talking about it now. Freedom is the most important attribute, have less than three personal control. What is our current status there? It's seven trending towards twelve. That is really uh, the opposite of three, or at least the opposite of low. 
How can we reduce this? I'm wondering if it's maybe too late. You see the core in other provinces and the economic development itself means that it's very, you know, elevated. So I'm not sure. Maybe we'll have to resign this one. It won't cost us anything to do so. I think that's what I'll do. Eventually, maybe we'll have less than three, but given that, you know, other country has claims, simple education, all of these things contribute to it, so I don't know if we're going to have to get rid of our high development in order to reduce this. Anyway, it's not, not that much of, an, of a deal. In any case, I think let's focus on this one. Increase the economic development level by increasing GDP per capita. So if we want to have a look at our uh, economic development level, we just have to look down here. It's low. Now, I still don't know exactly what this means. 0 0.10 out of 0 0.15. But uh, yes, so GDP growth and those things, we just have to keep up with that, I guess. But I want to resign this first one. Let's do that. I've never resigned one of our tasks. Let's see if we get something more appealing now, before I make a choice about the project. Strength in numbers. There we go. What's that? It's always safer to have loyal allies. Start your own block. Well, we've been thinking about that. Let's see. What will it take to bring Nigeria into the block right now? Spy operations? I don't think that's the one. Diplomacy? Ah, yes. You see the military units? It's, it's just way above what we can do. 54. We've got a maximum of 29. I don't know how to get around that at the moment. Anyway, we'll just leave it in the background. So let's just pick something that can help our military uh, number grow there. Military service maybe? Militarism will go up, the max capacity will go up, but also the unhappiness. But I think this, this is wise. Let's do this one. It will cost us a thousand, that's fine, 500 action points, there's some maintenance. Mandatory conscription of young men to train them and keep them as a reserve force of the army. Okay, do it. It'll take uh, two years or so, but that's alright, more than two years. Right now we've got 11,000, so let's see, can I take tourists to the moon perhaps? How much will that cost? Tourist infrastructure, 10,000. It's going to cost five of our minerals, 250 action points, and a long, long time. But okay, I'm fine with that. Three province score. Let's do it. I've never done this before. Implement that, please. So that will take a very long time. But when it, once it's done, people can go to the moon as tourists. So, who degraded? China, Australia, and South Korea, as well as Brazil. That won't do. Ah, what's this? The Red Planet. There is already water on Mars. With our experience building settlements, yes, we do have experience, building settlements over there shouldn't be too hard. House on Mars, half price. Start the funding. Okay, now you see it's a pity we just paid for this tourism thing. That took away all the money that we could have used for this. But again, there is no way I'm not doing this and there's no way I'm not winning. So go for it. Half price. And just stop right there. So what does it cost? 1,000 at a time. Um, yes. The country that sends the most settlers will take control of Mars. So, again, relations with the world will go down for a little while, two years or so, but not by too much. There's a bit of score. I would think there would be more than 50 score, but anyway. Number two gets Phobos, which is, of course, one of the moons of Mars. So that itself wouldn't be a terrible prize, but they can look down on us while we're enjoying uh, margaritas on Mars. How does that sound? So, let's do it. We'll have to borrow, but... It is what it is. What's that? Stock exchange in Switzerland. Not a problem. We're still number eight. It seems that's just the 
position that we've got and we can't be moved. Israel joined the bloc of the People's Republic of China. That's interesting. Mexico, hold on, the Cape of Good Hope. Ah, we get our money and action points every few years. Mexico, come on. Our stock exchange is 32% of the world now, which is fantastic. Post-war rebuild, it's currently implemented. How long will it take? A few years, I would suppose. But we can do something else in the meantime. Now, I wonder if this post-war rebuild is going to be a permanent thing now. It looks like it. So if we have another war, this will start immediately after the war finishes. The Great Offensive. What's this? Mobilize. We just have to be aware of money right now. Mobilize forces for a massive breakthrough attack. This will undoubtedly be a turning point in the war, but we did, we're not in a war right now. Maintenance 32. No, not right now. Not right now. Advanced tanks, maybe? More specialized requirements for important tasks. Units recruitment costs will go up, uh, but the attack modifier will also go up. So essentially what this means is we'll still have the same number of units uh, maximum, but they will be more effective, but also more expensive. I'm not sure. Battlefield support systems, that's too expensive. Atomic is way too expensive. Warhead rocket design, too expensive. Star Wars theory, that would be interesting. But let's see, what's on this side? Lasers, genetics. Weapon technology that emits highly focused energy beams. So we just get score, but okay, let's do that. Let's be a pioneer in the field of laser weaponry. 2% yes, un unhappiness is going down, that's good. And unemployment? 2% hey, almost there that we have universal employment. So Botswana, are you used to being part of us yet? I hope so. Once this Mars thing is over, maybe we can uh, expand to Zimbabwe finally. So where is Mars in this picture here? Is that it? Nope, Venus. So that's Mercury, but they're not in order here. China-Korea troubles. North Korea. There has recently been a serious deterioration in relations between China and North Korea. So... That will leave North Korea pretty isolated in the world, since China is essentially their only ally. That will be interesting. Is that Mars? It looks like it. No. Triton. There we go. This is Mars. Of course, the moons are not to scale here. So, one gets Phobos, but then who gets Deimos? Deimos. I'm not sure how you say that. Anyway, that doesn't concern us. We get the big prize, hopefully. But again, I'm not investing in it. Ah, what am I doing? Just too, too happy to investigate the prize that I forget to invest in it. I have to be more on top of things right now. That might mean we end up with the moon. Oh well, of, of Mars. But let's see. Let's hope not. Get ready to borrow money. Uh, unrest in the Pacific. You see, there's so much happening to take uh, attention away from Mars. US. China's imperialist ambitions are becoming more and more obvious. The red giant has turned its eyes to the Pacific. Across the ocean, another giant meets its gaze. That can only mean trouble. If the US and China go to war, the world is going to shake. But uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. So it seems like they're building artificial islands now, like basically in the South China Sea, to support their military bases. And this is now across the Pacific. Well, let's hope that doesn't escalate. Bring me money! Any other events? Something is happening in Greece again, but that's their problem. North Korea left the block of China. No surprise there. 
if we look at relations with North Korea looked like uh, yes you can see it's terrible with uh, India and China but sort of mediocre with the rest of the world ah there goes India again so what was that about HQ attack and it was successful so Pakistan is seeing its opportunity now that India has basically been worn down by the war with China so if India loses this one that will be a big uh, realignment on the subcontinent here does it still have its allies here it looks like it yes India 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 so even though these countries have been repeatedly bankrupted they still have to fight now Afghanistan is Indonesia so that creates a bit of a buffer there nothing happening in Africa Pakistan declare bankruptcy that doesn't bode well they might even lose this one but I do think that it's clear that Pakistan started that war, so India was already occupied with China, so if they lose, it's their own fault. North Korea, I just want to clear these messages now. Loan, loan, loan. Stock exchange. Let's see what happened with the army. We are at to our capacity again, so I don't even have to look. But that capacity is just way too low. We need more military units. Russia, with an 81 war score, it doesn't seem like anyone is doing anything to you, so I suppose that's what the new patch will address. If you have a war score that high, the UN is supposed to do something. But they are asleep at the wheel. United States, no, 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 no. We depend on the money that we get from this. There we go. You see, it's back down again. It's because the relationship improvement doesn't last very long. Mexico is the weak link, clearly, so if we get a better opportunity, we should probably take it. Laser's almost done. That was relatively quick, but the tourism infrastructure on the moon is taking a long time, which is completely understandable. I mean, it all has to be shipped there. And this now? Live long and prosper? Really? Wait, stop. Let's have a chat. I, for one, welcome our new insect overlords. Come on now. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. That is just cool. I love these Easter eggs. Space is big. Oh, this is Hitchhiker again. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the drugstore, but that's just peanuts compared to space. Don't go. Share your knowledge. Doesn't matter which way you vote. Either way, your planet is doomed. 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 Never. Oh well, we're on the moon and we'll soon be on another planet. Hopefully, if I don't keep forgetting to invest. See, now that just served the purpose to distract me. It must be a plot by the Germans again. Jamaica joined Mexico. War between the US and Mexico again. Well, well. Uh, and now Mexico and the US are both in our stock market, but that doesn't really involve us in terms of the conflict. Let's see, is there anything else? Genetics? I wonder why is this under the military tab? Biological improvements for soldiers. Okay, but then obviously we can also use that to treat diseases and things like that. Oh well, do it. Of course, that's only if people want it done to them. I'll never force anyone to have genetic modifications done. 
Uh, let's see, what else? US. So, I wonder now, I would love to see... That can only be... Let's see. Pakistan again, yep. So this time it's again the HQ. They seem to love that. Germany's status has been degraded. I would love to see the war goals, you know, about these conflicts. Like, what what is it that they want here? Did the US start it? Did Mexico start it? I guess the US, it said the US is at war with Mexico. But then, yeah, what does it want? Mars, oh no, we're not going to get it this time, because I'm, I'm also asleep at the wheel, it seems. Afghanistan left Indonesia, so they're now on their own here. Hopefully the rest of the world is so preoccupied with all of these conflicts and realignments that they're not investing in this Mars thing. Oh dear. So that now absolutely means we have to get every last opportunity. Let's borrow some money just in case. We should have another maybe two t two chances to invest seven six five go participation fifteen percent I don't know that doesn't bode very well that is... I'm, st I'm not sure what exactly that means. Does it mean oh, that our contribution is only 15%, but then again, maybe everyone else's is less than that? I think we'll have one more, maybe two more chances. Maybe. This is uh, still this year, but we have about four months left. So I think we'll be able to pull it off. More money! Mars should be much richer than the moon. I mean, we're talking about a whole planet now, not just a moon. Five, four... Go! Yes, I think we'll get one more chance. 50 days and that stops in... Three months. Yes, we should be able. So let me just borrow a little bit more so we're ready when the time comes. Hopefully this will make the difference. Ah, the Olympics games are drawing near. So that was about how long? I think it was in like the first video or something that we saw this come up. So that has been like 40 years since the last Olympic Games. So really it's not very regular. But then again you can't have it be too regular in terms of all these funding projects. But okay, maybe we can contribute towards that as well. It costs a little less. And there's a huge score in it for us, more than Mars, which is very strange. Okay, we, did, we didn't do this before, but now we are going to. You see, Mars gets us only 50 score. That's a bit unbalanced, I think. Hosting the Olympics is 10 times more prestigious than colonizing Mars. Come on, one more. Next elections are also drawing near, two months after the Mars thing is over. And who is it? The Pakistan is getting it this time. Five, almost there. This will definitely be the last one. Done. Now we just have to hope for the best. It's in the hands of fate now. Riots, terrorism. Palestine is a terrorism exporter now. Hey, this doesn't play into stereotypes at all. 
As long as foreign governments support terrorist groups, our people will not feel safe. They demand action against the threat. Reverting their system to a democracy could permanently fix the problem. Well, I'm sure Israel will be on top of this already. But uh, yes, I, I take back what I said before about rather wanting to help Palestine instead of Israel, because this is now what I get for my, my support, even though I didn't actually help anyone. Unhappiness is just skyrocketing, but now is that something I should now worry about? Let's just take care of the stock again. Good thing no one has tried to leave yet. Uh, so, if I try to now do something to their government, let's just make sure I'm selecting the right one. Influence the political system. Oh, that's cheap. Assimilate militarism. I don't know. I guess, does that mean we take it over or does it mean they get more? Assimilate surely means that basically we are taking it and they are losing it. Oh well, let's try. At least we're doing something then to help support the cause of freedom, so to speak. So we've got some agents there in Palestine. Olympics! Unhappiness in Natal, that's not good. Okay, well... We did it! Ah, we did it, we did it, we did it. Japan is a close second, I'm sure a close second, but we can't really tell what their contribution was. So even being asleep at the wheel this time still paid off, but that shouldn't be the case. But anyway, we got the score, the province of Mars. So when the camera moved up, that was the proof, basically. Relations with the whole world is going down, but if we get the Olympics, that will more than counteract that. Change the culture, and let's see, what else? Score. So they get Phobos. So we have some neighbors there now, Japan, but they must look down in envy from their little moon. This is just basically an asteroid moon, but anyway. South Korea, Australia. Where's the US? Oh, they didn't really try. Maybe they made one payment and then gave up. Isn't that amazing? South Africa has uh, Mars. That's uh, what's happening. Social promises. There's no easier way to gain votes than to promise someone something they want. That's true. Our people often complain about weak social assistance from the government. We can promise this will change during our next term. Ignore their demands. Eh, unhappiness 5. That's not so good. Interventionism will go up. Oh well, make promises. Who are we to change that tradition? So what's on Mars? Oh, come on, I want to see. A militarist faction is gaining a lot of momentum going into the upcoming elections. It looks like they may be a force to reckon with during our next term. So be it. We must fight it, then the army attack modifier goes down. I don't want that. I'll rather take the more militarism because that gives us a bigger army. So be it. So Mars, oh come on, can I click there please? New day, new way. Authoritarianism. My leader, from now on, no weaklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. People are storming the streets in celebration of your leadership. Would you like to learn more about system changes? Let's say OK. So, what does this mean now? Central power is focused around a charismatic leader, that would be yours truly, whose position is often backed up by the army. Authoritarian systems cause low unhappiness, which will be a good thing. Low relations are needed to declare wars can conquest all provinces during peace or request all provinces during peace negotiations which we want to do anyway usually elections every four years uh, low negative relation modifier with democracies 100 percent allowable deficit so we have less of that but we have never faced that before nuclear attack is only available when defending okay that's interesting not relevant though Let's just click close and I still want to see Mars. What does it give me? 
62, that's not so much, the ocean gives us more than that. Oh well. Pandemic in Bolivia! A mysterious disease spreads around the world. People are dying and everyone is clueless about the cause of the problem. Now... Participating countries, I don't see us there. Maybe that means we're not affected? Hey, that doesn't bother me. That's terrible. What a shame. Sixth. Okay, we're going up, we're going up. Something at least happened. Can I see Phobos? Only 25. That's not so good. Oh well. So that was a lot of pop-ups coming up, but uh, at least we have up upgraded to sixth place in the world. What's that? Kazakhstan joined the block of South Korea. Voting! Now we can see a real change. Do we accept it? Do we revoke interventionism? Revoke personal control? No. We'll just accept. Genetics almost done. And we get a bit more score. So hopefully very soon we'll be joining the block of the top five countries. But I think we'll have to call a close here. Uh, half an hour is more or less over now. What's the Saudi Arabia is fighting some rebels, but they're winning. And then, of course, we're still trying to overthrow Palestine's government there, which is now ironic because since we started that, we've become a authoritarian government ourselves. And what are they? They're also authoritarian. So we're being a bit hypocritical. But then again, we are not an exporter of terrorism. Israel? You want help now, and again it's going to cost us five of our HDI for three years. But you know what? Just to, to, to pay, you know, how can I say, to put the proof to my words, I'm going to help you. There you go. Let's just run it so it gets activated. Now we lose a bit of HDI, but we'll get it back. We better get it back. Even though I think something was amiss with this whole HDI system, because when we got that 15 that was temporary, then it never went away. And it's been more than a few decades since we got it, so hopefully we don't lose this. But if we get the Olympic Games, which I should have been paying attention to, then we'll be getting another 15, which will hopefully also then stay permanent. Fight the disease. Oh, okay. Let's do that then. What do we get? Score. Oh yes, we'll do that too. So well, that's for the next episode. Thank you for watching and uh, have a fantastic day.